channel come back to my channel my name is Noel from Addis Ababa University today I'm going to you consult this problem as you can see this problem is about projectile motion the ball is kicked with an initial speed uh, VA equals to 8 meter per second at an angle of 14 degrees with horizontal as you can see here a person kicked a ball with uh, initial speed of 8 meter per second with uh, 14 degree uh, to the horizontal and uh, we can ask to determine the fa the pass function of the ball as you can see here this ball let's follow uh, this path and its path has its own function and we can ask to determine uh, to find this path function and finally uh, determine the tangential and normal acceleration when uh, at a time t is equal to 0 0.25 second in order to calculate this problem first uh, we must know about the horizontal and the vertical component of uh, acceleration velocity and displacement in projectile motion as you know the horizontal uh, motion of projectile motion is a uniform motion which means it has a uniform velocity which means acceleration is zero and uh, for the vertical uh, component of projectile motion uh, the acceleration is constant so the vertical components of uh, un uh, projectile motion is a uniformly accelerated motion which means uh, it can use the equations of uniformly accelerated motion so uh, projectile motion is a two-dimensional motion because it has a vertical and a horizontal component of motion in order to solve this problem uh, we can use both horizontal and the vertical component of motion equation and finally we can find the pass function after this you can calculate the angle and simply you can calculate the normal and the tangential acceleration for the horizontal motion the horizontal, as you, i told you before the horizontal velocity is remain constant which means uh, v naught x equals to va times cos theta here we have initial velocity of 8 meter per second within 40 degree and it has four two components vertical and horizontal in the vertical direction we use uh, v naught sine theta and in the horizontal direction we can use v naught uh, cos theta so in order to calculate the horizontal velocity of the ball uh, v naught x equals to va times cos theta after substituting the value we we'll get 6.1 to 8 centimeter per second square then uh, the displacement in the x direction is uh, given by the formula sx is equal to sx0 plus vx0 times t0. Here, um, let's assume this is 0 and uh, v0 uh, is given, which is 6.1 to 8 meter per second, which we already calculated uh, here, and uh, we can uh, substitute at time t. So, so x is equal to 6.1 to 8 t is. The horizontal distance in the x direction for the vertical motion of the object acceleration is constant because the vertical uh, motion of a projectile portion is uh, an example of uniformly accelerated motion which means the acceleration is constant is acceleration to gravity and it can use uh, the equations of uniformly accelerated motion because it is uniformly accelerated motion so uh, distance in the y is equals to s naught y plus v naught in the y times t plus 1 over to 8 square it is uh, the distance formula for uniformly accelerated motion we can substitute the value simply here it is, it is 0 and v naught in the y is v naught sine theta uh, which v naught is 8 meter per second times sine 40 meter per second times t plus 1 over 2 minus uh, acceleration times t square acceleration is acceleration to gravity for the vertical motion g is minus which means minus 9.81 meters per second square after uh, simplifying this we will get the y display the way in uh, the y direction the vertical distance is y is equal to 5.1423 times t minus 4.905 uh, t square so uh, after this we can uh, use the acceleration to gravity act per perpendicular downward and we can simply determine the equation of the uh, trajectory or the path as you know the path of projectile motion is a parabola shape which means it has a downward parabola you are familiar for the path of the parabola uh, so uh, the path of the projectile motion is uh, has a parabola shape and we can ask to determine the equation of that parabola shape so in order to calculate this we can simply substitute the time uh, value uh, in the place of uh, t which 
which means uh, time is the same for the horizontal and the vertical we can uh, get <laughs>